Wanda Wilkerson, a principal scientist with head and shoulders. With everyone stuck at home, you may think now is the perfect time to skip washes, seeing as nobody can see the grease and the oil as well as build up. But before you take advantage of that clear social calendar, here's what you need to know. Sebum is a naturally occurring oil constantly produced by your sebaceous glands. It's the sebum produced by the glands on your scalp that can make hair look greasy in between washes. Now we all produce it throughout our lives, but hormonal changes, for example, during puberty can increase or decrease sebum. There are several benefits to having sebum production. Sebum forms kind of a barrier on the surface of our skin to protect it from the elements, especially from oxidative damage. These are harmful forces that causes skin aging. Sebum transfers throughout the hair shaft to help protect each hair strand. When the sebum builds up, it can start to cause problems. For example, oil that builds up on the scalp changes, becomes oxidized, breaking it down into substances that not only smell bad, but also make your scalp itchy and flaky, creating a perfect environment for an ongoing unhealthy scalp. The cumulative effects of this can have a negative impact on the hair, which emerges from the scalp unhealthy. Not necessarily. This largely depends on the temperature and the humidity in your home. Spending a lot of time in centrally heated environments can dry out your scalp. This can exacerbate the flaking and dry skin common to dandruff, even causing dandruff flare-ups if you're susceptible to dandruff. It's been reported that diet can also play a part. There are many health enthusiasts who recommend focusing on foods that contain vitamins such as fats as well as vitamin B and E, and monosaturated fats that are found in avocados and nuts to help the health of your skin, and your scalp is no exception. There are various forms of alternative shampooing and hair washing methods that have gained popularity, especially in the current environment. This includes the no poo movement, which involves washing your hair without actually using a shampoo. Advocates of the movement claim that modern shampoos do more harm than good and have searched for other ways of cleaning their hair. Now, there are different forms of no poo washing like using nothing more than water, using baking soda in place of shampoo, and apple cider vinegar as a conditioner. Complicated home remedy concoctions like rye flour, eggs, and even clays have gained popularity too. However, this may not be as effective as most people think. Interestingly, in a recent study, Head and shoulder scientists have discovered that washing at least five times a week was an optimal frequency for hair and scalp health and personal satisfaction. Just like your teeth and your face, your hair and scalp are also subject to buildup of unhealthy and damaging substances. So frequent shampooing is essential to keeping your scalp and hair in great condition. It turns out using popular no poo options and foregoing hair washing altogether might actually harm your hair and your scalp health. Modern shampoos are designed to really clean away scalp oils and dirt without stripping natural moisture. The fact is, it's very important for scalp and hair health to regularly remove excess oil. No poo and no wash routines that don't clean adequately can actually make your scalp irritated and your hair unhealthy. Oil that builds up on the scalp changes, becomes oxidized, breaking down into substances that not only smell bad, but also make your scalp itchy and or flaky, creating a perfect environment for ongoing unhealthy scalp. The cumulative effects of this can have a negative impact on the hair, which emerges from the scalp unhealthy. Many people have different wash frequency preferences. You can wash your hair regularly every day if you wanted to effectively manage an oily scalp. In fact, a lot of people do, particularly in warmer climates where it's vital to get rid of sweat and oil that builds up throughout the day. Over the years, a lot of rumors have come about. Hair washing frequency is one of them as it pertains to hair. The body is continually making oil, so as you wash oil away with shampoo, your body has already begun replacing it. For curly hair textures, that can tend to be drier. It's so very important to moisturize the hair strands to minimize damage and breakage. It's also important to use products that not only care for the scalp, but also moisturize the hair. Thanks for watching and check out my other videos for more tips to keep your scalp and hair happy and healthy during lockdown.